Welcome to another business finance short problem solving lecture. We will now have a look at study problem 13-5 in page 433 in the 8th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of the problem. Let's go ahead and highlight some key facts provided in the problem. Farmco follows a policy of paying out cash dividends equal to the residual amount that remains after funding 60% of its planned capital expenditure. The firm tries to maintain a 40% debt and 60% equity capital structure and does not plan on issuing new more stock in the coming year. The firm has estimated that the firm will earn $12 million in net income during the current year. So given these facts, first we need to figure the most that the firm can spend on capital expenditure uh, given its financing mix and also the estimates ab about uh, its profitability. And second of all, if the company's capital budget for the next year is $10 million, how much will the firm pay in dividends and what is the resulting dividend payout percentage? Okay, so let's go ahead and start with part a. Well, obviously, our company follows a residual dividend payout policy, and 60% of the total new investment comes from retained earnings, and the rest goes to dividend payments. Uh, so, those earnings not needed to fund investments will be paid in dividends. Um, because the firm last year earned $12 million, that can serve, and so that was the net income. Net income was $12 million, which will be ultimately sp split between retained earnings and dividends. So, what I'm saying is, because we are trying to find ultimately the maximum amount that can be spent on um, capital expenditures for the following year, if we uh, allocate all this $12 million in retained earnings and let dividends stay at zero, in that case, those retained earnings, which is a sort of equity, uh, can serve as our 60%, can serve as the 60% of our needed funds and the remaining will be uh, funded through debt financing. So in that case, we are given that 60% of our retained earnings or equity, huh? so 60% of the whole project, let's call the whole project value is x that's the most that it will be huh? it will be equal to 12 million dollars so assuming that all our funds net income has been invested into retained earnings and that's it all we now do is to solve for x and uh, making the calculations we figure that the maximum amount that the firm can invest in capital expenditures would be 20 million dollars now, in the second part, uh, we are told that uh, the firm's capital budget for the next year is $10 million. And how much will the firm pay in dividends and what is the resulting dividend payout percentage? In part B, we are told that the, the company is planning a $10 million uh, capital budget, so of which 60% will be financed through retained earnings. So therefore, the size of retained earnings is equal to 60% of the planned capital budget of 10 million dollars which would be equal to 6 million dollars now we can confident this implies that uh, dividends is equal to net income minus this uh, retained earnings portion because net income was 12 million dollars and the retained earnings portion is 6 million dollars the difference would give us a basically a six million dollar dividend payment and as such the resulting dividend payout percentage let me open some space here the dividend payout percentage would be equal to the dividend amount divided by net income in our case the dividend amount is six million dollars divided by the net income of $12 million will result in a, a dividend payout ratio of 0.5 or uh, basically 
so 50% would be the dividend payout ratio that would ultimately result and that solves our problem hope to see you guys in the next video